We are interrupting our programming this morning with breaking news from London. The late Queen Elizabeth II's body now departing from Buckingham Palace, soon to be departing uh, from Buckingham Palace, that is, headed for Westminster Hall in the Palace of Westminster. There she will lie in state until her funeral on Monday, September 19th. This is a live look in London now where the ceremonial procession is starting. And Queen Elizabeth II's coffin arrived in Buckingham Palace yesterday, late last night, that is, after a journey starting at St. Giles Cathedral in Scotland. The hearse arrived to cheers outside of Buckingham Palace. This is a route here on your screen of the procession. That is going to be taking place here in just a few minutes. That will be traveling down the mall and then to the Palace of Westminster, which is just off of the River Thames. And King Charles III was at the palace to receive the Queen's body, joined by other members of the royal family, including Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Now, so far, uh, the royal couple has attended two public events here. We're talking about uh, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, of course, uh, regarding the preparations for Queen Elizabeth's funeral. Prince Harry and Markle joining uh, the Prince William and Kate Middleton Saturday as they view the floral tributes outside, greeting well-wishers outside of Windsor Castle and the adoring fans of Her Majesty the Queen and her subjects. The outing marked the first time the four were photographed all together since uh, 2020, sometimes dubbed the Fab Four as yeah. in the media. Yeah, and Prince Harry and Prince William will follow Queen Elizabeth II's coffin on foot next to their father, King Charles III. And uh, Prince Andrew, uh, other members of the royal family, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, and Princess Anne are also going to be walking foot next to the coffin, of course, uh, alongside King Charles III being her four children. Yeah, and on Monday, the news broke that. Harry would not be permitted to wear his military uniform to any royal events, including the final vigil, but his uncle, Prince Andrew, was reportedly given permission to do so. Uh, of course, given everything that's happened with Prince Andrew, uh, understandably so, why uh, this decision would have been made after that decision, widely received as a blow to Harry, a spokesperson, spokesperson uh, as a bl uh, discussing the Duke of Sussex sharing a statement urging everyone to keep the focus on his late grandmother uh, instead of this. Am I understanding we now have the special report? Okay. Okay, okay. We are still waiting on the full special report to begin here from Fox News. Uh, a quick history of lying in state. This is a ceremony that happens in many countries, including here in the United States of America, especially uh, when an influential political figure dies. Uh, most notably would be uh, someone to the effect of the president of the United States when a former president passes away. This happens. Lying in state in the UK, though, is often given to the sovereign as a head of the state, the, this being Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, or the current or past queen consort, sometimes uh, former prime ministers, most notably Winston Churchill being one of those. And the last one was um, Queen Elizabeth, the queen's mother in 2002. Yes, and you know, like we said, many notable occasions of lying in state have taken place. You just mentioned uh, queen, uh, the queen mother, uh, Queen Elizabeth, who was also a queen consort. Uh, the first one, I believe, taking place, uh, actually, it's actually taken place since the 1700s, uh, but some of the most notable that we know of are of 1898 of uh, William uh, Gladstone. You have King Henry VII, King George V, King George VI, Queen Mary, which was uh, Queen Elizabeth II's great grandmother, who was queen. Uh, before that was passed on to King Edward, her uncle, eventually King Edward abdicating the throne so he could marry an American actress, uh, which then abdicated the throne uh, to Queen Elizabeth II's father. And then upon his death, uh, Queen Elizabeth taking the throne from him. She is often referred to um, something, I, I knew about this, but the, the accidental queen because okay. she was never truly meant to become queen. And oftentimes the queen was heard saying that she wanted to live life uh, off in a farm in the countryside, that she wished she could do that instead of having to take the throne. But it is something that is quite interesting because she, um, many, many people on the internet say the queen has always put service before what she wants, service and duty to the throne. And I think that's an exemplary uh, to, to the life that she led. Um, but uh, going back to the uh, ceremony, uh, 
during the lying in state period, the coffin is going to be resting again. This is the map that uh, the route is going to be taking once this gets underway. This is expected to start at 2.22 uh, British Standard Time, which is going to be 8.22 our time which is just coming up here in a little less than three minutes. Uh, the British very punctual uh, mm -hmm. when they like to start things, so we're anticipating this just at any moment. During that lying in state period, though, the coffin rests on a raised platform in the middle of Westminster Hall. Each corner of that platform is guarded round the clock by units from the Sovereign's Bodyguard, Foot Guard, and Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment. Something, Katie, I did find that's interesting about this is if Queen Anne, uh, Queen, excuse me, Princess Anne does take part in this because as members of the royal family do uh, typically take part in surrounding the monarch for portions of this lying in state period, she would be the first woman in the royal family to do so. Wow. Yes, um, uh, members of the public obviously free to file past. Looks like we do have some movement uh, getting to begin here. Let's just take a listen really quick and see if we can hear anything from the Queen's Garden. Okay, looks like we do not have any audio on this yet, but this is just outside of the main entrance at Buckingham Palace. This is the Queen's Guard. Uh, many, many famous, famous scenes happening here uh, from the crown to, you know, anything in pop culture that involves the British or specifically anything regarding the Queen. Uh, you, this is the classic shot of approaching into the courtyard of Buckingham Palace where you eventually round into the official entrance, uh, the guest entrance for heads of state as well as Her Majesty and now His Royal Highness King Charles III. Um, back to more on that ceremony though uh, especially the Queen Mother when she died on the 30th of March in 2002 she laid in state for three days in Westminster Hall where people could visit before her funeral in Westminster Abbey on April 9th 2002. Now it's estimated 200,000 people showed up to London to view her body. We now have a special report from Fox News.